Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Butterman for CDOX.com, and this is the tip of the day. I'd like to talk about pre-polishing zirconia. Zirconia has become a widely popular material, mainly because it's such a strong, versatile material, we can use it in so many different situations. The typical workflow with zirconia is that after we sinter it, we then polish the material before placing it in the patient's mouth. The issues that we can run into by doing it this way is that the scratches from the burr marks can be very difficult to remove when the material is already sintered and so hard. We also have the potential problem of causing a purling effect or, or getting an opalescence that we don't want in the zirconium material. So we have a huge advantage if we can take the material before we've sintered it and it's in its soft state and try and polish it at this point. The goal is to very quickly remove the sprue and then just a matter of a minute or two, remove all the scratch marks, get the material to be very smooth so that after the sintering, we have very, very little work to do. Typically, we're going to use the Meisinger polishing kit and I'm going to use the spiral polishers from this kit. I usually avoid the core step because that's just going to be a little bit too aggressive. It's going to remove more material than I'd like. I'm going to start with the medium spiral polisher and I'll polish the entire restoration except the contacts. Then I'm gonna come in with a fine spiral polisher and that's gonna remove the remaining amount of burr marks that we have and we'll have a very smooth, even shiny surface when we're done with that. If we wanna take it even a step further, after the sintering process, we can use a diashine polishing paste. This is from VH Technologies. This is a diamond impregnated paste and we use this with a Robinson brush just to bring up the luster a little bit of the material. So the goal is to take a restoration after we mill it and be able to create something that's gonna service our patient for many years and be something that's gonna be kind to the opposing teeth. I hope this was helpful and if you'd like to learn more information or more tips, please log in to cdocs.com. Thank you.